God, you are compassionate and loving. Please guide me to make the right decisions that bring glory to your name in all that I do. In Jeremiah 17.18, it is written, Let my persecutors be put to shame, but keep me from shame. Let them be terrified, but keep me from terror. Bring on them the day of disaster. Destroy them with double destruction. Never lose hope, for just when you think it's over, God sends you a miracle. Depend fully on God and look to Jesus daily for the fulfillment of your destiny. Understand that God is never late and waiting with hope in Him renews your strength. In Isaiah 40, 31, it says, But those who hope in the law are thee, will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. God says to push a little longer, not to give up, and to trust in His timing. All things work for those who trust in Him. God understands the hurt caused by harsh words, slander, and evil behavior. In 1 John 3-9, it states, no one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. Pray for your loved ones, lifting them up to God. Through Christ, they belong to God, and He has a plan and purpose for their lives. They are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, and victory is already theirs over any situation. Do not allow tiny problems to overshadow God's greatness. Approach God with confidence, knowing that if you ask anything according to His will, He hears you. Rejoice in each day the Lord has made and do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything and thank God for all He has done. Heavenly Father, I love you. Thank you for this day and for my life. I am grateful for the many blessings you have bestowed upon me, and I acknowledge your faithfulness. Lord, I ask for your guidance and preparation for the coming week. Your will be done in my life. Go before me and make every crooked path straight. You heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds, as mentioned in Psalm 147-3. Be assured that God is always with you, even to the end of the age. In Matthew 28, 20, it says, And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Do not fear, for God is with you. He will strengthen and help you. God says you don't need to worry about the next step in your life. Simply trust in Him and work hard. He will place the right people along your path. He has been watching over you and will continue to do so. If you believe this, and if you needed this message, type yes. God assures you that the pressure you are facing is a sign that your breakthrough is closer than you think. Don't give up. God has never left you alone, and will always be with you. Sometimes you may feel distant, but believe and have faith that He is there. Pray for the protection and provision of your loved ones, lifting them up to God. Trust that He will hear your prayers and take care of them. Type yes if you believe in God.